come and join us on another road trip. Today we are going back to North Norfolk. We're going to be checking out the beaches and seeing how the Tesla does on this journey. Let's go. We are heading to the White Horse pub in Brancaster. Uh, this is in North Norfolk. It's an absolutely beautiful pub as you'll see when we get there. Really famous for their seafood and their location on the top of North Norfolk near the coast. So we're going to put that into the Tesla here. It's saying it's going to be four hours and 15 minutes, 189 miles, and we should arrive there with 26% battery. We're setting off with 91%, which today is saying 292 miles. We should easily be able to get there. But what I've noticed, actually, if you saw my last road trip, there was actually quite a few Tesla destination charges up in North Norfolk. But when I've been looking on ZapMap and other maps, they've actually been taken away. So the one at Thornham Delhi is often out of action. And the White Horse in Brancaster had some, and it looks like they've taken them out. Now, I can't blame them because they were free and uh, the electricity costs are going through the roof. What that means is I'm gonna do a little top up at the Kingsland Supercharger, just to take us back to 80% so we can get to Norwich to see my parents. So anyway, let's head off. Uh, it's a pretty good day. Let's do the journey. So far, the journey is pretty good. We're about to go past Pontefract. Can't beat driving a Tesla on a nice sunny day. So we're looking forward to getting to Norwich. Uh, well, North, North, North first. It's supposed to be a decent weekend, 28 degrees both days. Hopefully there won't be a cloud in the sky. Let's look at the trip graph. It's saying 12.3% consumed and we'll be used just 1.2% more than the trip projection. So not too bad at all. One issue I'm seeing a lot on a lot of road trips and journeys that I've done recently is the map is just not loading map details, you know, the satellite imagery. And I'm not sure why. I've reset the car, I've had an update or two, the internet connection looks like it's got good reception. Are you seeing this? It's never used to happen. I'm not sure whether to book it in with Tesla or if this is just a current bug that all of us Tesla Model 3 owners are getting. But let me know in the comment section below because I'd like to know before I uh, contact Tesla about this one. A quick stop at live services. Look at this, they've got this huge EV area up here now. We don't actually need a charge, but um, this is quite impressive. Just arrived and plugged in at the Kingsland Supercharger. Uh, we're currently charging at 161 kilowatts. It says it's going to take 30 minutes to get us to 80%. So this is one of those charges where you have to register your car at the hotel reception. So we're going to do that now, have a little break for 25-30 minutes and then get back in the car. We are charging up to 80%. It says we've got 45 minutes left on the journey, about 23 miles, so there must be a bit of traffic today. And if we look at the live projection, we should arrive at the White Horse in Brancaster with 67%. We're not planning on doing much driving when we're there. We're gonna to walk to the beach, do some nice walks around uh, the beaches there, and then we'll just drive to Norwich from Brancaster on the Sunday morning to meet my dad. And then when we're in Norwich, we might be able to get a charge before we leave, or we can charge again here we head back to Manchester. But now, let's head on to Brancaster. Set temperature to 20 degrees. So we're now arriving into Brancaster. Some really nice pubs uh, along this stretch of the coast. We've just arrived at the White Horse, and surprisingly, there are actually two Tesla destination chargers here. Um, on some of the ZapMap reviews, it said they were out of order or had been removed, but they are definitely back in action, and they are charging at 10 kilowatts. So that's great. We're gonna uh, be able to leave here for Norwich with a full battery. But now I think it's time to check in and grab an ice cold beer. 
we checked into our beautiful hotel room at the White Horse, a Christmas gift from the wife so we could have a nice chilled weekend break. The hotel is situated right on the North Norfolk coast in Brancaster, a place that's a designated area of outstanding natural beauty. Fantastic if you want to see those big Norfolk skies or relax with a cold beer or wine in the outdoor bar. It's just so relaxing being here. If you've never been here before, definitely recommend it if you're looking for a nice relaxing weekend. For the meal, we treated ourselves to a couple of the local Brancaster oysters, some local beers and wines, and just relaxed in the sun. The hotel has its own smokehouse, an indoor bar, a restaurant, and another cool bar at the front, which has live music on during the week, including some seafood and lobster festivals. So it's a lovely evening. We're gonna have a little drink down the front, are we again? Yeah. Had a little drink there earlier, and then we've got meal in about half an hour. So uh, I'm gonna go over there for a quick drink, and then meal up, well, literally said that, meal in half an hour. Yeah. So after a very quick drink and some music, we headed into the restaurant for a meal which was so good. I definitely really, really recommend a visit if you're coming down this way. The next morning, we got up had some breakfast and a coffee and enjoyed a little stroll around the North Norfolk coastal path and just watched a few of the people playing around in the water. Quite a few people out there doing paddle boarding. We then decided we were going to head down to Holcomb Beach in the Tesla. And this was great because the hotel's charger worked perfectly, which meant we could set off with a full battery. So I've just arrived at Holcomb Beach. Super, super busy today, isn't it? Car park's completely full. So we're gonna uh, try and go get a ticket and then head down to the beach. It's a really beautiful beach. You've got this boardwalk here that takes you to the beach. And then behind you, all the way in the beach here, you've got these pine spruce trees, I believe. And they just smell so good. But as the tide goes out, you get this really nice shallow, clay sand kind of water that feels really good on your feet it's quite therapeutic uh, also makes for a good good photo as well so we're gonna head down to the beach quite a long walk from the beach uh, from when you get to the woods probably another half a mile actually get down to the, uh, the shore but a beautiful walk nevertheless <laughs> Okay, it's time to brave the North Sea, freezing cold temperatures, and uh, test out the action four. You've got to do it for the channel, haven't you? So let's get in that freezing cold sea. So we've had a great stay here at the White Horse in Brancaster. We're now leaving here to go see my dad in Norwich. We've charged the car up to 100%, so let's go. Okay, so I've put our next destination in, which is the George Hotel in Norwich City Centre. It's saying we've got one hour and nine minute drive. It's 41 miles and we're leaving here with 100%. Now, this is the first time I've taken the car to 100% in a long time. And it's saying, just for reference, that I have 323 miles with a 100% charge. We should arrive in Norwich with 87%, which is perfect, because that means that when we leave on Monday morning, we have enough juice to pretty much get all the way home to Manchester. So, let's go.
Okay, if you've never charged your car up to 100% or you've done it on a journey like I just have, what you'll notice is that you actually don't have any braking regen. What happens is when the um, battery is charged to 100%, there's nowhere for the regen to go. So your car, when you take your foot off the accelerator, won't stop like it usually does. It will feel more like an ice car and it will just roll. Um, and the way you can tell that as well, there's a bar at the top here and the more dots you have, the less braking region you have. So you'll notice that in cold conditions as well. So at the moment you can see that I have loads of dots here because my battery is full. So there is almost zero braking region and it should come back when we get to about 95%. Those uh, little dots will start to go away and the closer you get to a solid line, the more braking regen you have. So just a note there. We continued our drive down to Norwich and if you've watched the channel before, you'll know we have another road trip to Norwich, which you can see by checking out the channel. Now, when we got to Norwich, it was the Lord Mayor's weekend with a full weekend food festival. It's absolutely huge and takes up a lot of the city. So again, if you like good local food, wine, beers, or just a bit of a party, definitely check it out next year. We really do love a food festival and it's something that we will definitely go back to because I really don't think we ate enough food. we've just checked out the hotel we're now going to walk into Norwich city center and grab a quick coffee before we head back to Manchester and a tasty pastry yeah so let's go <laughs> let's do it so yeah we've had a good time in Norwich went out with my mum last night for uh, a nice Indian what's it called again uh, Namaste village it's delicious yeah definitely recommend checking that out if you're ever in Norwich but we didn't get any footage of that I was just trying to enjoy the night so caught up with my brother um, his partner and my mum yeah and um, yeah, we thought we wouldn't rush out today. Obviously, we want to leave quite early to get back to Manchester, but looking at the weather, it's chucking it down there. So I thought yeah. we'd uh, just sit in the sun for a bit and have a nice coffee before heading back. Yeah, definitely. You don't want to go back to the grey, so <laughs> I'm trying to prolong a bit more sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> So that's us done in Norwich, time to head back to Manchester. We have 85% in the battery, it says 275 miles. I'm gonna type in our home location. It's saying we might need a supercharge in Leeds. Uh, we'll see how that goes as the journey progresses. Still car getting. So it's gonna be three hours, 49 minutes to that supercharger. Let's see if we can just remove the charging stops. So edit trip. We'll see, we should arrive at that supercharger with 24%, but let's go. So far the journey's going pretty well. We're in the green zone of the trip graph at 66% less on the battery. Now about to pass through, I think it's the Sutton Bridge. Bit of a change of plan we're going to stop at Blythe services we need a toilet and a coffee so we're going to stop there and i normally wouldn't supercharge this early we've got 39 percent left in the battery but i thought what the hell we need the toilet so we might as well uh charge for 15 minutes it should potentially take us back up to 80 percent and then i don't necessarily need to charge when we get back into manchester so let's head up there now Okay, so we've arrived at Blythe Services, and like I mentioned, we don't actually really need the supercharge, but we're gonna do it anyway, just to top the battery up. Um, so the consumption of the journey's been going pretty well. Um, it's pretty slow traffic, so we're sticking pretty much on route. We're in the green, uh, but this is gonna mean we're gonna arrive in Manchester with no problems at all. So time for a quick break, and then we'll be back on the road. Okay, time to unplug. Go. 
go. So we have made it back to Manchester. We have 189 miles left in the battery or 59%. It was actually quite a slow journey. It took about five and a half hours to get back from Norwich, but always a pleasure in the Tesla Model 3. So consumption was pretty good. It says uh, actually going uphill cost 8.7% more, but everything else was looking pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this fairly quick road trip. And if you want to check out our other road trips, you can see those by clicking up here or checking out the playlist on the channel. If you've got any questions about Tesla ownership or if you want to comment about this trip, please leave a comment below because I do get back to every single comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.